Good afternoon, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And um, today we're getting a bit of a late start because... We had a busy morning. Well, you know there's a story. <laughs> there's always a story. So on Sunday, our kitchen table broke. Um, Helen was getting up and all of a sudden I hear, oh my God, I need help. I'm like, okay. She's like, no, I'm not kidding. I need help. And she's holding the tabletop up in her hands because the legs broke. Um, this is a 60 plus year old table, which we now know is made of maple, we think. Yes. Because we tried to fix it. And the legs snapped. Right. Because they, and they had broken before. It's our parents' table, and my dad had obviously put screws into the legs, and now it snapped again, and it just, uh, so, and I, I will say, in true us style, the table was not clear. Oh my God, the amount of stuff on it. <laughs> Helen's holding it off as, holding it up as I'm trying to get stuff off of it. The cat jumps up on top of it, because, <laughs> you know, because that's going to help Dudley. Thank you. <laughs> The dogs are underneath it. We're terrified that she's going to drop it, and it's going to drop on the dogs. And this is a heavy table. Yeah, this is not uh, this is not a light table. And no, oh, oh. my gosh. So anyway, it's we, an antique. It weighs <laughs> what an antique weighs. We tried to fix it with Gorilla Glue and screws and trying to screw it in, but it was way too hard for our girly drill. Well, I was going to say girly drill because it's not a girly drill, but it is it is not a professional drill. It's a Black & Decker simple drill for drilling screws, screws into, you know, walls. Ikea furniture, not yeah. maple furniture. Not heavy duty. So we put out a request on a local recommendation site and asked for anybody to recommend somebody who might be able to come fix it. And we got Two guys, a father-son duo, who answered us, and they came today to fix it, and it took them, what, four hours to fix that baby? Yeah. But they told us that they put in probably close to 100 screws because they have screwed it at every single joint and connecting bit that they possibly could so that this baby isn't going anywhere. Yeah. They said, give it 24 hours for the, to let the uh, glue dry, and then we can dance on it. <laughs> they also put support pieces going across the bottom so that, really yeah sturdy now so i think we're good um it costs probably more than the table but it's worth it i don't think so because i think the table would probably in condition yeah go for a lot more than what we pay for it and it's it's a family table yeah so. there's no way he's like it's going to be more than a new table <laughs> we're like yeah yeah no. we figured that we need to do that <laughs> so it is now fixed however that was four hours of the day. Um, so Helen was up here working on the computer with them, and I was downstairs packing, yeah. getting lots of packages ready. Uh, it makes fun things easy, fun when, you know, time of COVID and everybody's got to wear masks. And, yeah. You know. Ugh. Um, so anyway, that is done. It is fixed. And now we have cabbage soup going. Yes. It's stuffed, Rachel Ray's stuffed cabbage soup. I will, I will link down below for anybody who might want to. It's got pork and ground beef, but I'm pretty sure you could take those out and put some kind of vegetable in if you're vegan or ve yeah. vegetarian. And um, it's got all sorts of spices and carrots and onions and garlic and cabbage, cabbage and tomatoes. And tomatoes. It's, oh, it's going to be so good. So yeah. that is percolating nicely on the stove while we're doing this. So anyway, um, we had one question that we wanted to answer uh, April Davis wanted to know how we store our cross stitch projects. Do we store them in cross stitch bags? And you would think us being bag makers that maybe we would do that. So, some of mine are. Some of them the, are. The, the one I did yesterday was in one of our bags. Right. But for, for the, the most, most part, plastic bags. Ziploc baggies. It's so sad. We're going to fix it. Yes. We're going to make bags in 2021. 2021 is the year of making. Right, because 2020 was the year of buying. Right. We have two more days. <laughs> 2021, we're going into a different kind of quarantine. Right. <laughs> Not let's spend any more money. All right. Um, and lots of people commented on it's all about the stitch to get the library, um, the temperature library. Thank you guys so much. The winner, random generator picked Jesse Rember. She says, it's all about the stitch. I'm with you. English major, high school English teacher, total bibliophile, and cross-stitcher. Can, can't imagine any project I've done that would be more appropriate for me. 
I am with you because I am a certified teacher to teach K through eight and then high school English. So and English majors, both of us. Both of us English majors, both huge readers. So um, Jesse, shoot us a, a I DM. Ass I assume since you, you're a cross stitcher that you want the cross stitch and not the embroidery. And I'm pretty sure we have your email. Okay. Um, but you know what? If you email us, uh, toadhollownj at gmail.com, sometimes people use a different email than yeah. what they want and to get that, regular. That way we can just reply to the email with the PDF. Right. So, so And you can let us know if you'd like the cross stitch or the embroidery if you want to try something new. Yep. So, okay. All right. So that is that. Okay. All about the sweater. Yes. State of the sweater. State of the sweater. All right. What the hell? Where, what? Why didn't I bring my sweater? Oh my God. It's like she's an amateur. I'm not prepared. All right. Would you like to go first then since you are now prepared? Oh, sure. Mine's very simple. Um, my sweater is the Boho rom Romance Crop, which I had finished the last time you saw it. Okay, I'd finished the body the last <laughs> time you saw it. <laughs> I finished it, then I took off the sleeves. <laughs> I'm doing it because I love doing sleeves so much. Um, and then it sat for several weeks while I summoned the energy to pick up my sleeve stitches, which really, I knew it was going to happen as soon as I did it. It was just like, really, why'd you wait so long? Right. They're on waist yarn. <laughs> I don't have to, I have to pick up, what, 14, 12, 14? 14 <laughs> stitches under the arm. Oh, the pain, the agony of picking up 14 stitches. <laughs> and it was more just, you know, having the brain space to read the pattern and right. know exactly what I had to do for the sleeve. So yesterday... I did, before Bridgerton, <laughs> um, got it all ready to go so we could watch our Bridgerton. Oh my God, that's such a good show. <laughs> it really is such a good it's, show. There's going to be a day of mourning, <laughs> Friday, when we're all done. Um, maybe tomorrow, depending on how today goes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, but sleeves are perfect for Bridgerton. It's stocking that's right. I just have to keep track of my decreases. Um, so I started my sleep last night. Cool. So there we go. Uh, Dingle Hopper is the colorway in DK. It is not. It did not make the hit list. It is staying. Um, I believe it may be sold out from the sale. We may have some fingering left, but it will be back. This is the elusive Dudley. Say hello. Close to the microphone so they can hear you. Hi. You good? I am making the... I, I, I'm pronouncing it Olus sweater. By uh, Belen Fernandez. And... I have separated for the sleeves... Meredith has done so much more on her sweater than I have. And but in my defense, I have whipping, been doing other knitting. So whipping right along. Hi. This is where I am so far. So I am doing it out of gingerbread. That is so pretty. And then my stripes are the autumn fairies in DK. The mini skeins. The mini skeins. And I have just added my second round of the Acorn Fairy. Oh, perfect, thank you. And then I'm going to do- I'm being Vanna, if you would just allow that, please. I'm going to do two more color bands and then measure it and see how it looks um, because they say to use between seven and eight minis. Um, so that's where it is, you can see how far I've come down from my, after joining. So it's, it's really, it's whipping right along. I mean, it is straight stockinette going right around and you just know that every 15th row you add the color band and the color band has short rows. So you have to go back and forth a couple of times in different spots. Um, the back, this piece here, you can see the color, the uh, short rows and the blue really well and the yellow. I love this so very much. I mean, I really, really, it really love this. It came out exactly the way you had it in your head. It did. Right? Absolutely exactly how I had it had it in my head. I just, I am in love with this color, Gingerbread House, 
it is not going. We kept this one. Um, and the, I think that the, um, the autumn fairies are blending because I, you know how much I love it to blend, but there's just a little bit of a pop. You but know, not I a mean, you know, big, you know, it's a stripe because you wonder, uh, my mom asked, how did you get dye it to do that? And I'm like, they're different colors. <laughs> she added a color and she's like, oh, I'm like, wow, how did they get the dye it to get the colors to do that? So, so I mean, um, I love that there's just a little bit, but not a great yeah. big stripe going around. So it's just like, it makes you do a double take and you're like, wait, is that, or is it just a, yeah. a, a and, pooling? But it's also not an unflattering right round stripe right so. it's such a great pattern so it's o-l-e-s the olas sweater by um brett and fernandez and i i really i'm enjoying it so much i love the construction of it and i was very i was worried a little bit with the variegated but i thought that it's not too much that, that it will still show but not like really really yeah. show so i love it i love it so much so that is what I am working on. And I am down to, I said to Helen, before we do anything, I have to wind because that's what I have left in my uh, skein of gingerbread right now. So I need to do that before we start knitting again. But very, very happy with yeah. it. All right. So we were talking last night about if we had to come up with something that it was our favorite uh knit for the year since you know tomorrow's new year's eve could we come up with it and neither one of us were like did i echo <laughs> did i finish anything <laughs> it was did it was, i accomplish anything it was eleven fifteen at night we'll give it to that but as we got through because we were walking the dogs and we're like as we got through the walk we figured out that we had knit some but i think we came down to the conclusion that we need to document, document everything our stuff a little bit better because i'm just like i don't think i made anything this year right i just but we did. Yeah. We did. We just need to document it a lot better. But so. I don't think I did anything that was like, oh my God, I love that so much. Well, you did say that you really love the Duna shawl. I do love the Duna shawl. And I, I love enjoyed, this. I enjoyed I'm... knitting the Duna shawl um, very much. I decided but... that this is probably going to be my favorite knit. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, so, so anyway, we have to document. Um, I'm going to try and be better on Ravelry. Yes. In 2021 and also journal my uh my starts and finishes right i was going with good intentions however i'm really gonna try this time yeah so i have a new journal and everything because you know that's what i need <laughs> maybe get a new brain <laughs> okay um so our last bit was uh we talked to our post office lady um of the the post office worker that we deal with in Beach Haven. Right. We have several packages that are kind of out there waiting for them to be delivered and they are and this season some of them some of them got delivered very quickly and some of them took are it took and are taking much longer than right. normal. But uh she was telling us that uh several of the post offices including Philadelphia which is where our outgoing mail gets routed to first were closed for several weeks because of COVID. The so, entire plant right or center or whatever was closed because of COVID so anything that was in there when they closed pretty much stayed and then everything else was rerouted to other facilities like Maryland and Maryland Georgia. and Georgia so that if you are tracking your package and it looks like it's going to the wrong place because you're north and it went south this is what the postal system is right now and she said however Philly is back open. Most of them are all open. And she said, and she's starting to see that everything's moving again. Right. She said as of two days ago, because we talked to her yesterday and right. she said, because as of the day before, all of a sudden packages started moving because she's got a bunch of people who are asking her, hey, you know, it's been sitting in Philly for... Right. So if you are one of the ones that is waiting for one of our packages or you're getting a little concerned and you're not sure whether to get in touch with us, feel free to get in touch with us, but this is going to be the response. Right. Um, so hopefully within the next couple of days, everything's going to start to normalize and get delivered. Right. But uh, yeah, no, the post office was hit kind of hard. Mm -hmm. So um, 
luckily for us, our lady is, she's doing well. We're very happy because we love her. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but I do know that uh, one of the post offices here on the island was closed down just because they didn't have enough people to cover. Right. They, they simply did not have enough people to cover. So that um, slowly but surely people are coming back. But um, yeah, no, it got hit hard. As I said so be her, kind you know, to your post. It's good that fan. it didn't happen, you know, during a busy mailing season or anything. Right. Um, be kind to your postman. Yes. Or post lady. All right. I think that is it, right? I think so. We are done. So we hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Go forth and create. And we will see you tomorrow with books. Yes. Audibles and books. Favorite Audibles books, books of the year. Yeah. So. I have to go make my list. Yeah. See, books I keep track of on Goodreads. Goodreads. So and that... I have been very religious about keeping track on Goodreads. Yeah. So. so I've been doing well with that. Um, so those I know. I can go through those. But uh, So we will have all-time favorite audibles for suggestions, and then we'll go through our favorite books for 2020. Yeah. So. All right. We will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.